This episode of the All About Nothing podcast is brought to you by GOT Sound Studio. GOT Sound Studio offers a variety of experiences. Music, voice, and instrumental recording and production, video, and still photography. GOT Sound Studio has all of your media needs met. Owned and operated by Dominique Stewart, the Neek the Geek, experienced artists as well as up and coming will find everything they need to create. Bring your media needs to one of the most talented producers and engineers in the business, Neek the Geek. You can find details by visiting gotsoundstudio.com or calling 803-243-2302. You can also find links in the Friends of the Pod section of our website. Visit theallaboutnothing.com. Recorded live from the Maddie Johnson Podcast Studio at GOT Sound Studio in Columbia, South Carolina, this is the All About Nothing Podcast. The views expressed on this program are the opinions of the host. Some content and subject matter may not be appropriate. Listener discretion is advised. Listeners are encouraged to follow the show at theallaboutnothing.com for links to social media and more. Listeners can call the show at 803-672-0533. Thank you for listening. All right, welcome, welcome to the All About Nothing podcast. This is another shorts episode. This is actually our ninth bonus episode. Welcome, Trent Clark. Welcome, Zach King. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Barrett. You guys normally don't get to sit in on these shorts because I record them in my underwear. Yep. <laughs> here in the studio. Yep. Well, we had to ask you to put clothes back on. Yeah. <laughs> While Nick is watching you from the top view. Is he? Yeah. Hey, always. Nick. He's always watching. I'm really always. sorry, though. Freaking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> really, really sorry. <laughs> um, we're going uh, to discuss the uh, Super Bowl here in a minute. Yep. And, and my hope is that I get this episode published within 30 minutes of the Super Bowl okay. starting so that Whoa. that could be their pregame. Mm. That could be your pregame. Yeah. Not you guys. You guys yeah, listen to We can all it. be right. Barry, cut this off. We can all be <laughs> facts, right. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> Wait right. until the Super Bowl's over. What I told do, y'all I knew the store. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to record. I'm going to record two. We're going to record two, two episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last five minutes where we disclose who we think is going to win. Well, we're going to do two recordings of our picks. Right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You said Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I said Cleveland. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, we know Cleveland ain't going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you feel if you're Cleveland right now? Pissed. You had OD. You had Odell you're at Beckham. the opposite end of the state. You're partying because you're in Cleveland. Well, okay. I mean, come come June when the ice thaws, you're partying because you're in Cleveland. You're right. But you're still in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a different part of Ohio. Look. For anyone it touches Kentucky, the whole state's taken it away. I know we have at least a couple listeners in Ohio, that, you know, that, that record. Or, Shout or, out to them. Yeah, download every now and then. Look, the only part of Ohio that I think sucks is Dayton. Like, mm. That legitimately, that's the only part of Ohio. The Flyers. And Ohio's right beside Pittsburgh. I mean yeah. Pennsylvania. So yeah. Yeah. Dayton Flyers. Yeah. I like watching them play basketball. They're gonna I'm, be pretty good. I'm not. A, I just I experienced Dayton. Isn't from, it so crazy that one state has? No championships, and the very next state over has like six. <laughs> what's what, what? Pittsburgh. Oh, are they that close? They're, I think they're right there. If I'm not mistaken, could be. Ohio State is there. I, that's the reason why I don't like the state of Ohio. For that's fair. I don't hate it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I yeah. hate it, but yeah, you're just I mean, we a, talked about our hateful Ohio State before when Air Max was on here. The so. Ohio State, though, right? We're not talking about the state. <laughs> no, of no, 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 no. We're talking Ohio. about the college. The Ohio State. Yeah. 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 Uh, real quick, I did want to update everyone. Uh, news broke just recently. I want to say it was yesterday. Um, but news, of course, broke last month about uh, the loss of Bob Saget. Yep. Um, oh, and, yeah. And, of course, before that, Betty White. Yeah. So we did find out, according to investigators, it seems as though he hit the back of his head, potentially didn't give it much thought, and just went to bed, never woke up. Mm. Apparently he had skull fracture. Yeah. yeah. I think he knocked himself fucking stupid, and all he could think to do is lay down. That Potentially that could be what it was. But... Fortunately, uh, that means that it, it definitely wasn't drug related. It right. wasn't alcohol related. And I know that there were people that potentially said that, you know, this was a guy that did have issues in the past, but he has been clean. Um, he just, again, he just never woke back up. Could be yeah, foul play. Your, your brain would. You think so? I mean, come on, man. Just hitting yourself in the back of the head. They found him randomly. In his, well, yeah. After his show. They found him in his bed. There was no. He blood. wasn't by himself. He, oh, he wasn't. There was, I, it was no way Bob Saget was by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude, in your hotel room. I don't know. I, th- I I think he was. I think at this point in his. You life, think after he was, Bob Saget, after his who? hotel, I'm um, after his show, he's gonna go back to his hotel room alone. I yeah, he's married I, and has has children. Right? This is Bob Saget we're talking about. I, <laughs> is there people out to fuck Bob Saget? <laughs> Damn right. 
<laughs> Bob Saget. I hey, don't know. It's a sex what? symbol. If, he if, he was a lot a in a in a in a weird way. He was a, was not a sex symbol. <laughs> in a weird way, a lot of these girls that are of age now grew up to him. Oh, yeah, man. it would be a fantasy to, to you if you're into dads, gonna, you would like Bob dad. Saget. I'm gonna, I, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, honestly man. claim that I don't, I, I can't see Bob Saget as like some sort of sex symbol. Hey, he was, man. he was Daddy Tanner, Daddy. See, Dan you called him Daddy already. Dan oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't, I, I missed that one. But he, you said Daddy. there was no blood. Yeah, they, they. How hard, How do you hit your head so fucking hard? Well, okay, so think back. Do you remember Billy Mays, the guy that was the uh, the OxyClean? Uh, commercial guy. Yes. Mm. So he he was on an airplane flying back into f- his home in Tampa, mm-hmm. and apparently on landing the the plane he 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 flew up and hit his head, made it home Damn. and died at home. Now they said that it it was coupled with the potential for for coronary I think as well. But but you know this is a this is a guy that that was healthy. Mm. You know there wasn't a whole lot of reason to think that that, that would take him. But I'm he so hit scared to hit too. my head now. Yeah, don't. No, you you know. Like, well, don't hit your head and go to sleep immediately afterwards. Yeah, like I need to be up for like that. At least that goes for like hours. kids too. Like a lot of people like think, okay, my son just hit his head and he stopped crying, so let me soothe him and make make me go let him go to sleep. Right. No, don't do that. Yeah. You, you, no, no, no. You, you definitely want to. You, you got to keep him up. Check out. I think yeah. all three of us can say we've had a moment where you've hit your head so so hard, like your teeth clank. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. maybe like right here. Or this something. morning, I've, I've hit it off like. Uh, the hoods of cars while working on them oh, and yeah. stuff, or like, or if you're trying to, um, if you open your trunk like in a oh, Honda, yeah, that yeah. shit just come back oh, down. Oh, 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 you'd be oh. so fucking. Pissed. I was, I was installing it. it, it I is, can, I can feel it now. I'm like getting a ghost headache. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is Super Bowl hard. Sunday, so I, it, you know, all the TVs and whatnot are sale. So mm. we bought a TV yesterday, and I mounted it and everything. There are shelves next to. Oh man, man! Bear. I came up and popped my head <laughs> yesterday. So hard. I was, but I held my tongue. I did not cuss. Mm. No one. I don't think anyone else noticed. But I woke up this morning. So. <laughs> well, that's good. Wait, that's good. Could be We're Bruce glad Willis. you're here. He don't know he's dead. <laughs> oh wow! Because <laughs> hey, he doesn't, yeah. he what doesn't do you, have control. Doesn't that mean that you? We can see dead. This is the this is the simulation everybody was talking about. <laughs> this is the seventh sense. <laughs> <laughs> the seventh sense is when you smell the fart coming. Oh yeah, I or you can actually know. see it in the air coming to your nose. So Bob, oh, we got that. <laughs> I don't either. So Bob Saget did die in Florida, and I I, I want to just suggest this. Um, all entertainers, I'm begging. Can we just agree that it's time that Florida entertainers, uh, entertainment be reserved specifically like Scott Bayo, Diamond and Silk, Ted Nugent. John Voight, <laughs> yeah. Kid Rock, and anyone else who aligns themselves or potentially was on Celebrity Apprentice Trump because they wanted to be there. Donald Trump's friend. Okay. Yeah, that means Gary Busey. Yeah. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, let's send, uh, what's his name? We can send Candace Owens down there, Who's the guy too? from oh, Half, yeah. Half-Baked who, who was the main, like the white dude who was always like, me? Oh, oh, what is his name? Uh, Jim he something. was Rocket Man, right? Jim Bauer? Jim, no, no. No, it wasn't Bauer. Uh, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't. I'm not talking about Rocket Man. Oh, you're you're talking. Are you not talking about the goat, the guy that played half the, baked with Dave Chappelle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to think of his who roommate, was. the one not that the was Latino on the couch, dude, the white dude, the one that went to jail for for over. Yeah, he went to jail. Horse. He was in jail. You're that was the one that Jim was in Bauer jail. Jim Bauer is his name. I think is it Jim? Ba- I don't know. It might be. God damn it! Yeah, y'all got to look that up. No, because he, he's like he's a right wing nuts. So now is he? I didn't know that. Yeah, they have him on right. He was in half baked. Yeah. Well, oh, that's look, well, he was half baked. Well, all I'm gonna say is that. Let's leave Florida to the entertainers that support Donald Trump because the potential is that Florida may take their lives some way or another. I mean, Florida's on the track record now of of, of taking at least Billy Mays and, and Bob Saget. So I, mm. I feel like that I feel like that's enough for a pattern. It's not Oh, also I want to mention apparently the FBI several years ago updated their definition of serial killer. It is Jim. It is Jim. Jim oh, Brewer. Jim Brewer. Oh, Jim Brewer is a Yes. He's a serial <laughs> He's no, he yeah. does look like Donald Trump's son in this picture. Yeah, that, that is pretty close. He's, yeah, a, you were referring he's a serial to conservative. Harlan Williams. He Harlan not, Williams. He is awesome. I love him. He uh, probably hated the way he was portrayed in Half Baked and was like, no I got to go the opposite way of this. That's yeah. how he is all the time. Yeah. But you got to think about it the same way. Chris Rock did the same thing. Yeah. I mean, not Chris Rock. Chris, Tuck, Chris Tucker. Oh, fair. For how he was in How High. That's yeah. fair. I mean, not How High, but. Um, Friday. Friday. Yeah, Friday. And he didn't want to play uh, a weed smoker anymore. So, you know. Well, whatever. A lot of people were like, oh. That's a, the, what was the other, 
the Rocket Man you brought up. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I, when I was a kid, that was one of the funniest movies. I thought that was a fantastic movie. <laughs> when he's farting on, on Mars oh, yeah, and the yeah. suit blows up and the guy is like connected to his air supply. So he's oh, yes, <laughs> yes. And he's like blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. He was awake the whole time Thanks. eating all their food. And stuff. I don't want to I don't want to give it away. But on the next episode we record of what's the pot, what the pod was that. I definitely have a I definitely have a video where a a, a wife like a husband like put himself in one of those dry, Tyrannosaurus suits. Oh, I've seen yeah, that yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yes. sprayed fart spray into <laughs> yes. the intake. You can't get out. Yes. I did that to Brody for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why you never Sorry. buy one of those suits, man. You would never get one of these suits because they, they can do whatever they want. Exactly, to you, you can't no get idea. out. Come up and literally fart in it and <laughs> have you smelling ass in your. Seat. What do you think will be worse though? The um. You know the lo- the nylon suit or the big suit? What was the nylon one? You know, like the like everybody's like um like a hazmat suit? No, not really. It's like a it's like a full body mask and like oh, it's all oh, one. You're talking about like a like a like, like green a man Kevlar? Suit? Yeah, like yeah, the yeah, green yeah. man. Yeah, right? yeah. No. What do you think would be worse if you farted in? Uh, no, <laughs> I think I think the thing. dinosaur thing yeah. because all that's it's doing is sucking the air. Oh, in. Yeah, there's no right. there's no air going out. No, yeah, you are in it. Mm. Oh, it goes, <laughs> it goes it. out through the seams, but it's going to take a while. Oh, like, it, you, you need to unzip it. <laughs> I, I don't know that it ever fumigates itself out. I, yeah, I think for the most part that suit it probably is smells now. like bo. Because <laughs> you use a fart spray, and that I is didn't. So- I didn't. That was your real fart. <laughs> you, you farted, farted in it. <laughs> Uh, you must have like loaded up on protein like massively. Protein, uh, on peanut it butter, doesn't take eggs. <laughs> Legit, it doesn't take much. That you just go up near the fan and let yeah. it go. Oh, I've used That's the fan crazy. as a fart weapon. Have you multiple times? It, it works. White people jokes, man. I do. I, I do. <laughs> wanna, I can do real quick. I can do the uh, fart in your hand grenade and throw it oh. at you. If I, if I had, well, to don't do, do it, that, please. Yeah, please. Well, <laughs> it was like it was a trick I honed. You said real school. quick. Let me do it. I'm like, no, no, no. I, you cup it. You just cup the fart. Grab it. I did it to my youth pastor in high school. We were bowling, and I hit him right in the face with it, and he goes, "Oh my god!" <laughs> He's like, "It stinks," but I'm impressed. It works. That, that should be assault. Yeah, if, I agree. If, if spitting on someone like, is assault, it's like that should be assault. It's like fourth degree. I'm yeah. not. I'm not gonna go as high as third or second or first. Like you didn't physically. Like kill them yeah. or, or whatever, but, but yeah. that is messed up, man. That is, that Yo, is you assault. pastor, I would have quit that day. We were bowling. We <laughs> oh. I'm like, well, God doesn't want was, me here. No, no, that was that was probably <laughs> he was maybe like six years older than me. That was probably mm. the first time in a bowling alley. He was like, oh God. You know? <laughs> I did, I did. I know this is a shorts, but. It I, doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It, it short depends on how long we want it yeah, to go. Yeah, I had to do yeah. jury duty. This is just an excuse not to hit 100 yet. Facts, facts, facts. I, I, had, to do, I had to do jury duty, and I, I wanted, if y'all wanted me to regale you with my, my tale of- This uh, was recently? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you week. did do- yeah, that's Oh, right. you had jury duty this week. Yeah. Congratulations. How do you feel? <laughs> it's fucking nice. Did you put some money in jail? $22 richer. <laughs> yeah. How much did they pay you an hour? 11 No. A day. Eleven dollars a day. So Eleven dollars a day. Yes, to to fulfill your civic duty. So so let was me this tell you, Irmo Greater Greater Irmo. It was a town municipal? of Irmo. Town of Irmo municipal. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Eleven dollars a day. So so you're miss you miss. Hold on. Let me get this right. You miss work. Oh no, this is more fucked up. I had to work all day and be there at five. Oh, it was oh. in the afternoon. Yeah, that is messed up. It is fucked. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Who at work found out that you were going to be available all day? Oh, I'm I dude. I had a paper and I gave it to the HR and oh, stuff. Come on, man. So that, you supposed to be like, yo, I gotta leave. Like they, okay. need, yeah, they require documentation. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> trust me, they, oh, they require do. documentation. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I, I uh, there is no excuse for. So not for the selection, I, I went. Uh, basically, it's so close to my house. I could have just I. I Leave it five. I'm there at five of five. You should have yeah. got Barry to and like reprint that so, and put a different time <laughs> on. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. For, for, the, for the selection process, um, I knew it was going to be no, no one was going to be on time. It's like a, it's like a hundred people or sure. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe 30, 40. So right. what made you think? Why do you think you stand, stood out to them to be like, oh, we want him? Well, let me tell you, bro. <laughs> I stood up there, uh. And and uh, there was multiple cases. There could have been four trials that I could have been on. You mm. can, that can happen. Nice. So, oh, so you could be you can be brought in to do one, but you, you could do four. Is what they could go through the list again, and your ass stands up, and they're like, mm. "Yeah." Oh, that's like I had to do grand jury. Oh, I, I didn't I had to know do that. Grand jury and fed, for federal, but anyway. So oh, yeah, go ahead. Well, I stand up, and this this dude, African American, mm-hmm. and his lawyer were sitting there. 
he was accused of aggravated assault on a police officer. Okay. Mm. I, my name gets called. I stand up and I eyeball the the uh, um the attorney, his yeah. attorney. I'm just like defense. Yeah. Yeah, the defense attorney. I'm just like, are you gonna pick me? Or are you not gonna pick me? Like this is awkward. <laughs> and he's There's like, a lot of staring. please, please seat Mr. King. And I was like, shit. <laughs> Because of all the cases that were there, yeah, this ain't cut and dry to me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. like we'll we'll deliberate. Was the camera on? Yeah, yeah like, facts, all, all facts, this facts. shit. Yeah, and so I'm like, damn, I got paid for that one. Other other ones were like a guy had a suspended license, uh, and he had no insurance and he was speeding. That's cut and dry. You were guilty as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. that's easy. Yeah, and, but I'd still fight it. Yeah, I'll fight it too. <laughs> I'd still fight it. Well, I think they do juries just to. Yeah, it'll prolong their right, it, right. Demise of course, of so it's, it's because they need time to yeah get the money. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna saying, have to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, okay, I get it. I didn't get picked for any other ones. I got picked for that one, and it happened to be Thursday, so two days. The later. speeding, speeding case. No, no, I got picked. I got picked for the aggravated assault. On, oh, okay, on okay. a cop. Okay, and this would have been the cop defending himself there. Oh wow. Mm. Okay. Technically, I okay. guess he would have had a lawyer too. The Not state really. Would have represented yeah. Somebody. Yeah. Well, they made it seem. Someone said that. I don't know. I had never done jury duty. I get there and I'm like five minutes early, but apparently everyone else was there earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, "We were waiting on you, Mr. King." <laughs> and I was like, "That's cool," but like the the dude, the defense wasn't there. The attorneys weren't. No, none of the like actual people were there. No lawyers yet. Right. Oh, okay. Not even a judge. But how was, did you How did you get there so late though? The, oh, I wasn't really late. I was just like, this is a reasonable time. He was on oh. time. He was he, he was like five minutes yeah. till rather oh, than okay, like okay, 15 okay, to 20 okay. minutes till. I was the last juror to show up. Okay, okay. okay. And so I, I get there, and I had to sit on the front, and the judge comes in, and she's like, Mr. King? And I was like, yeah. She goes, I want to make you the educa- adjuator, educator. Uh, the, adjudicator. the person that reads adjudicator. out if yeah, they're guilty yeah, or yeah, not. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. She was, okay. I, I, told her, I told her, I said, uh, I... I don't know what that is, but I'll do it. <laughs> like, you're going to have to tell me. You're she like got, the foreman. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like, everyone who I asked to do that has that exact uh, response. What mm. is that? But I'll do it, but you're going to tell me what it is. Yeah. So I was like, all right. And she goes, well, we need y'all to go in the back room here because they're going to come in. And they might be talking about the case. I don't want y'all to hear that. Mm-hmm. It's like, cool. We go back there. I actually start making small talk with everybody. Turns out my next door neighbor is there with me. Oh, okay. oh wow. didn't, didn't I've never met her yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, that is right. And so we were house. saying where we were living, and she's like, no shit. Like, I was like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, you're my new neighbor. You just moved. I'm your next door neighbor. I was mm. like, I've never seen you come out of your house, like, ever. Tem- temporary fast forward. Did you both agree on the case? Oh, uh, well, no. Oh, Backwards. Oh yeah, that's gonna yeah, that's gonna yeah. cause a little determin. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> deterrent. Gonna, here, here's the kicker at the HOA meetings. <laughs> here's the kicker. This guy thinks black people kill police officers. Uh, the guy who aggravated assaulted the police officer came in, pled guilty. We didn't get to do anything. Oh, oh well, there you go. Because his lawyer said plead to a lesser. He probably pled to a lesser charge. So I made twenty two twenty two dollars in an hour and twenty two minutes. That's both days combined that I had to go. I want you to know you make more money. At work. At work. No, then, no, no. Yeah. I'm, but I made $22 for an hour and 22 minutes. So. Yeah, I understand. But had you, yeah. But if you had went to work yeah. for two oh, no. hours, no, no, no. you would had make a, more. Yes. Yeah, do, you make more to, at work than that. How do I have sat, sat there? Yeah. Yes. I, it's, yeah, completely unworth yeah. it. I mean, yeah. It'd be like pissing I mean, on you, me and telling me it's raining. Fortunately, your company still pays you for your. Yes, your, yes. Yeah. Especially, I mean, being salary and everything. But it was the fact that. The best case scenario is yeah. I actually did make money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and not, yeah. And not bad facts. money. Facts, facts, <laughs> so facts. I wasn't going to sneeze at it. I was like, well, you don't have to do anything. And guess what? They can't call me back for two more years. That's Well, mm. technically, that's the idea. Yeah. There is the potential that you could get drawn onto another jury pool. Like, I, I have a neighbor that has been on jury duty in the ca- over the course of the last 10 years, has probably been selected for jury duty eight or nine times really like like once once every seven to 12 months like get selected and also man you know since since you're able to be brought in for jury duty you know you might go to war with russia so soon you might get called for war oh they don't call 33 year olds for war yeah they will if it's russia not overweight <laughs> not overweight 40 42 or no, three year olds no 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 no, no. <laughs> no no they'll call you train Hey, oh, I, I'm 30. I do want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the cutoff. 32 is the cutoff. Nah, fuck him. My great grandfather <laughs> was be drafted like, at 33. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like Muhammad Ali. I do. Uh, I'm gonna go sit down in jail. I do want to. <laughs> I do want to apologize to uh, to our Florida listeners because uh, at least at least I'm okay with you. Be you all be in a state. 
like on a weekly basis, I remind people that North and South South Dakota are completely undeserving undeserving of statehood. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, you do shit on them hard, <laughs> and, and ultimately they should just be merged with Montana. I mean, Delaware too, man. And I apologize, Delaware. No, that's my soapbox. Though. Maryland, well, <laughs> well, the, like the, the, those have a legitimate population. Yeah, though. but I'm Connecticut. Look, Montana, Rhode Connecticut, Island. Connecticut, this is my argument. For this New is York. this is my, my argument. Montana, South Dakota, and North Dakota have six senators. Yes. Six senators, currently six uh, and four representatives, and that's half their them. population of their yeah. state. <laughs> no, they, like they they only Crazy. have between the three states, they have two point seven million people. Montana's got one point one. South Dakota's got eight hundred and ninety five thousand. North Dakota's got seven hundred ninety five thousand. Tell you what, if all one point seven million listeners in South Dakota and North Dakota start listening to the show, I will at least advocate advocate for you that you all should merge with Montana and then we just call it Dakota. We'll get rid of Montana. We'll call it we'll just call it the Dakota. Well, Montana's what, a better name. Well they probably say the same thing for us as far as South Carolina and North Carolina could merge together. Just a bunch of racist <laughs> hillbillies get yeah, there's, together. There's put a line in between them. Put these, them back together. <laughs> seven million people I think between North Carolina and and South Carolina. You're though. right, you're so. right. Yeah but the 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 government up in North Carolina is a bunch of homophobes. And the only that's, thing that's separating North Carolina and South Carolina is Carowinds. <laughs> <laughs> it is right there on the line. We were one state at one time. Yeah, yeah I believe it. We yeah. were Carolina, and mm-hmm. then I don't remember what happened because the uh the and then the it's cap- a pretty straight line across. I mean, it, it, it's it very goes up straight. and down a little bit, but yeah. there's there's a there's a there's a decent amount of space. Yeah, they straight. made sure that I'm, it was like I'm thinking it was <laughs> I'm thinking it was just a we, well, we, now we're now we're pigeonholed between Georgia and. Uh, North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. At least we're not attached to Alabama or, or Mississippi. Ooh. That's good. That would be embarrassing. Or we're Arkansas. Our, we're our <laughs> own bad. <laughs> hey, Little Rock. Hey, Little welcome Rock. to the show. Uh, <laughs> uh, I also want to give a quick update on Major League Baseball lockout. So Major League Baseball owners and uh, the, play, uh, the Players Association met yesterday with a proposal from the owners that included increasing the minimum salary to 630000 increasing the pre-arbitration bonus pool from $10 million to $15 million, even though the players want $100 million. And uh, and then there were some other incentives and incentives uh, that are in the two to four percent increase of what the players actually want. And they should have Barry Bonds in the. That was that was Hall of Fame. That too. was my shorts last you week. You think so? Yes, did uh, you, I believe did you, you listened too. to my shorts last I week. Didn't, I, I, I didn't, listened to it. I didn't know oh you did it. <laughs> I did. It's a, him and it's always a surprise. Him and Roger Clemens are both to be there. Yeah. And Sammy Sosa. And, and Sammy Sosa. I, look, I get these guys potentially used enhancements. That I mean, the only one that tested positive for it was I think Sammy Sosa did. Yep. Yep. Roger Clemens did. Yep. Uh, uh, and Kurt Schilling did. Mark McGuire did. Mark McGuire, I don't think Mark McGuire. He Maguire, admitted it. Yeah. But see, that's the thing is that. that he, he admitted it. I don't think he tested positive. Barry Bonds never tested positive. For never. Anything. And and I'm not and saying. And he still has a home run record. He's, he's, but yeah, he's but a home run see, Did you see that dude before? There's a difference. I I get it. <laughs> but but he didn't, like. He went from, like, your, your build yeah. to the back crack. But, like, but Zach, you have to understand, if I'm. If if the person that's pitching against me is taking steroids, I need to take steroids. But see, here's the thing: I don't, it doesn't. I don't think that was the thing. Here's, here's, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you're well, competing. Barry they Bonds, were all competing. Barry like, Bonds, Roger Clemens, and Sammy Sosa all came off injury. Okay, and the potential was is that they either ended their careers or they take human growth hormone mm-hmm. or steroids or whatever to potentially make their careers longer. I mean, Barry Bonds did most of his damage before he started exploding. Yeah, I mean, like he. When I say damage, like he did most his home of runs. his home runs. He earned the other. He only earned like a hundred and forty home runs in that last piece of his his two seasons, right. two or three seasons. Like that was huge. I mean, that beats Roger Maris and and yeah. Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. But like, but legit, they had unbelievable careers before that. Roger Clemens was unbelievably good pitcher. And think I, about I, it, I, baseball has never been the same since that home run. Stuff. We since, 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 baseball has never reached the height that it was. It was, was it was once was. It was big. There was. A, there was. I, I was watching St. Louis games. Facts. I, like I, I, for what? And I'm not against. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not necessarily against them doing steroids. I don't. I don't. I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie about it. No. I don't no. Wanna, Andy Pettit did, and he I don't kept know, playing. I don't know how it would. I don't know how it would change the game per se. Like you're like, well, you know what? Fucking do what you want. It's your body. Here's here's all I'm gonna say. You're taking so in order to be a major league baseball hitter, you have to swing a round bat at a round ball smaller than your fist mm-hmm. that's coming at you in a varying angles and varying speeds. Mm-hmm. I, I don't hand I don't, eye coordination is the biggest factor. If not strength, if you get a, if you get 200 home runs in your career, 
you're in the Hall of Fame as far as I'm concerned. That yeah. is not easy to do. No. Well, some of these parks, I think strength is a big factor yeah. in, uh, in a lot of it. But you don't you don't got to be cock diesel. Yeah. I mean, look at Ronald Acuna Jr. He can he can hit it with oh, like oh, the he's best tiny. of them. Well, he's uh, not, he's or, not. Or look at Batista. You yeah. think Batista, as big as he is, you think Batista will be able be able to go out there and hit a home run? Yeah. No, he still needs hand eye coordination. Yeah. He's, I they, saw. Uh, oh, you're talking about Dave Batista? All, yeah, I'm talking about like the wrestler. The, oh, well, I thought need, you were talking. Nah, about, nah. I'm talking about skills. wrestler uh, Batista. I'm just saying, just turn movie actor. P- yes, pure strength. But if he comes out there and tries to hit, if he if he doesn't have hand eye coordination, no, he's not hitting nothing. No, you're absolutely right. You have to hone that skill, but yeah, yeah to to. Get the ball to to leave the park. Facts, facts. I mean, you got to have that core just strength to you. But like, I don't, know. I don't know. There's some skinny home run hitters too in the MLB. But what's the little guy from the Astros? He ain't cock diesel. Oh, you're talking about the little little yeah. guy, Ozzy Albies. But he he's ain't not cock Ozzie diesel. Albies, yeah, Ozzie How's Albies he hitting home runs? Him. He don't you get hit them all the time, but he he still he does. Can, he does get home run. He, he, does. he will get a, he he'll, he'll probably he'll probably get ten or eleven home runs in a season. So, so with your build or my build or Barrett's build, if we had impeccable hand eye coordination, how many home runs do you think we're hitting? Shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be completely honest. I didn't. I never had that. That I, was that I, was hand eye coordination. Never had I, I mean, it was. I had muscle memory. It's I in my it's in my it's in my blood. Like my family all plays baseball, and probably I probably could have been good if I would have tried. But right. Yeah. I never. Was, I don't I, know. I would always hit the fence, and it would piss me off. Mm. I had good hand eye coordination, but I would I would always hit the fence. Coach's Swing. pitch, I used to hit home runs. I know I, T ball, I, I hit home runs. Yeah, coach's pitch, hit I used to. Hit. That, we're talking about kids running around trying to get the ball. Sure. You're like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, no, like, we're talking the about over the fence. Uh, like I could clobber yeah. it over the fence yeah, yeah. at T ball, but I may have hit one. that fence was only yeah, eighty yeah. feet away. Facts, facts, and you you barely almost hit your coach whenever you hit that. I was I was a quarterback of the baseball field. Mm. Oh, okay. It, which you were the catcher. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's what I built. Catcher's the guy in charge. Catcher's the one that has all the vision. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're was, right. Yeah. Respect. And um, he calls the pitches. He relays the pitches. You're right. The pitcher ultimately can say no or yeah. yes. Yeah. But. Well, before we go to break, I want to yeah. ask you guys' opinion because Major League Baseball did announce this week that the universal designated hitter will go into effect this season for National League and the American League. Uh, effectively now, Max Freed is the last starting pitching Starting pitcher, silver slugger that will potentially ever exist. Yeah, he could. And what does that mean again? I need a little help uh, on so, uh, National League rules, pitcher always has to hit in your nine in your nine man lineup at mm-hmm. the start of the game. Yeah, it, you, the pitcher has to hit at least one time. At least, well, it, 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 oh, it, in it, the it, circuit, he has to be in the circuit. He's in the rotation. Uh, okay. yeah. No longer, no longer. National so they no League, longer they don't have to. Do now that. you can go just get a guy who sucks at anything else, but he can hit the shit out of them. And I'm not gonna say Ozuna mm. sucks, but Ozuna coming back to the Braves this spring as a potential designated hitter to me is, I, he, he's as far as I'm concerned, Pablo he, Sandoval. Yeah, but he's not on the Braves anymore. Oh yeah, he did. Get at it. least, at least of all, uh, at least um, Marcelo Zuna is, is still that, on the Braves. Is that is that's this, the one that, that got into the the situation with threw his a wife woman against? Oh, the wall? Okay, okay, it was his wife. Yeah. And 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 granted, he should have walked away. He should not have. He should not have. I I, I was disagree. that that viral video? It didn't. I I've never seen the video. See oh okay, I, I thought it was another one. Yeah, yeah I think it was a football is, player that threw his like wife into like a. I don't know, like a baby thing. Well, the know, cops broke. watched this dude do it. Oh. Yeah, he they came in the door as he had her against the wall. Yeah. Um. So I'm 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 firmly against the idea that that he harmed her, but at the same time, you know, the reports are that she pushed his buttons all the time. He broke his fingers sliding into third base, well, that and that nobody. almost that's what ended his yeah. season. That don't give nobody no excuse. No, I agree. Us as, as men, we all have to know how to you walk away. Control that. You got to walk away. That. It's okay. Get in your car, drive away, don't hit her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that. That's how you. That's how you defeat the purpose. Yeah. If she's not letting you out the house, go out the back door. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> you, know you, I mean? you gotta, you gotta control that. Yep. So. There's a window somewhere. Are uh, you, exactly. Are you excited about the potential of a uh, designated hitter? In uh, the I kind of liked the great equalizer of having the pitchers. Yeah, I did too. And when you have a Max Fried who can come up and be a legitimate threat, I did too. Did he hit any home runs? I don't know. Now, uh, that guy is skinny, but he yeah, was yeah, probably a good yeah. hitter. But yeah. he's, but he's, uh, see, and I don't think that I don't think that takes Max Fried out of the possibility of being a pinch hitter or a pinch runner, mm-hmm. because they use Max Fried as a pinch runner mm-hmm. a lot. Uh, they yeah. use Soroka as a as a mm-hmm. pinch runner. Yeah. So the and pinch runners back. now, or yeah, you still like, have you can runner. still have yeah, those. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. You, literally, you can I can get runner. brought to the Atlanta just to run bases. You could, yes, if you were fast. That's crazy. You could, and if you could hit. Then mm. you'd be in the lineup, lineup. Yeah. probably hitting like second, third, or <laughs> and fourth. And if you can field in the outfield, 
you're, you're Gucci, man. You, so yeah. with so with the um the new baseball th- rules that you just said, the minimum that a base runner would get is like six hundred and something thousand. Six hundred and thirty thousand dollars. If you if you if you, Trend, you you're going home hopping on that treadmill, <laughs> <or> turning <laughs> up to seventeen, maybe. Let's see how fast I can run. <laughs> I, I don't know what the requirements are to be considered a a a major league baseball player. Like how many games you have to play. Man, I'm a ma- I'm season. a baseball player if I run a base. I don't give a fuck what they say. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Well, the one good thing, I don't. I'm not a fan of the lockout. Per yeah. Se. Yeah, but you're not a baseball player, so you can't you can't well, downplay what they're doing. A door, a, a, where, don't where one door is closed at the moment in foreseeable future, right now, right? Another door is open. Air some college baseball. Yeah, mm. you're not playing your MLB games, and uh, I think ESPN has now said they're going to air a lot more college baseball. Oh, yeah. Regardless, okay. well, they've been yeah. doing that pretty legit. Uh, they've been doing. Yeah, that they've been going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then like, I got tickets to see Carolina and Clemson play at the uh, the, the, yeah, the, the Bull the Street uh, Bull Street whatever Rumble they, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. That'll be fun. I'm 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 gonna, sitting right behind the dugout I'm, too. I'm gonna, my plan is to. Go <laughs> I think to, I'm sitting behind Clemson's dugout, but that's oh, okay. perfect. Next week, I'll make sure I get that picture on you too. I'm planning on hitting that. Oh, that'll be fun. I've never been to an opening day for Carolina, but I know I've been to standing room only for those. Oh, really? That's it. I I I know you can like carolina has all their games on television if you have yes. sec network plus yep. you we just have to wait on basketball to be done with the cameras that's true and oh, they yeah. bring them over yep. to the baseball stadium and then and then you just don't have the one camera sitting <laughs> above home plate <sighs> based out worst. yeah it's, mm. not, it's not great. so like guys you're not looking too hot this year in basketball. <laughs> women. Let's just go ahead and the women are good. Yeah, they're the women, great. They're I, still number one, right? They're the ones who are going to keep our cameras. Yeah, right? they're, they're, yeah. they're the whole reason the cameras got. Do y'all, y'all think it's going to be like the replacements in baseball? No, they're going to bring in the replacement. No, people? the owners. The owners have no interest in bringing in replacements. That'd be they, gangster, though. They want it. Like the owners, random people playing baseball for like pro teams. That'd be end, crazy to watch. In the end, the biggest argument I have against the whole thing, and I get that the players want more because the owners are still making billions. Billions. The, owner, a year. the players. Uh, are year millions. we're talking but you're still you're still talking about an argument between billionaires and millionaires like Max. ultimately that and, and not not all millionaires they call it baseball money for a reason there are there are rookies that will probably there are there are potentially rookies that will only play one season in the majors but they'll get their six hundred thirty dollars six hundred thirty thousand dollars i think the wnba needs to do a sit out too totally agree they, if anybody needs to do a sit out it's them they, how many teams do they have 12 12 that's ridiculous yeah unbelievable ridiculous they need to expand that to at Max. least 30 there's so 32. many awesome women out there who are great at basketball but and it's 12 teams good. you can't fill a freaking roster. Sorry, right. it's no, fun to good. watch. Yeah. Like the WNBA legitimately to me is more fun to watch because I watch when I watch the NBA games, mm-hmm. I'm I'll be honest, I'm staring at feet watching people travel and not get called. Fact. And also, also the it's whole like game. Bas- men's basketball and women's basketball are doing a complete reverse now. Because back in the day it used to be exciting to see guys dunk. Yeah. Now it's exciting to see guys hit 13 threes. Yeah. Right. Now the girls are starting to dunk. Yeah, yeah, that's way more exciting than seeing a guy dunk. B- yeah. Because we were all like, the girls don't dunk, and now they do. And, yeah, and, and their so, layups are they're jumping up there with them. Layups. Yes. The argument about the fact that women's basketball doesn't have the income, doesn't have as big of a it's market. a lie. No, it, the only problem with that argument is the fact that they've put, they've they've legitimately just basically taken. And made that market as small as possible, mm-hmm. like, and I fully believe on purpose. It's on purpose. And you can't you can't get them on TV all the time. No, nah. you can't. My mom's yeah. going to think this episode was boring because we talked about sports. <laughs> 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 all right, let's take a break. We'll come back after the break, and we're going to talk about the Super Bowl. So we'll be right back. We'll talk about more sports. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nothingers, I want to cue you in about a friend of the pod, Blank Canvas Brand. If you own a business or restaurant and the time has come to build that unique brand, you have got to get a hold of Blank Canvas Brand. Blank Canvas Brand specializes in brand identity, including logos, business cards, flyers, and anything else to promote your business. And now, Blank Canvas Brand offers printing services to help with your clothing needs, including sports teams. I can tell you from our own experience, Blank Canvas Brand is responsible for our logo, as well as the Bowl of Duty Bowling Team logo, and we couldn't be happier with what's been produced. For more information, you can search Facebook for Blank Canvas, or you can email Blank Canvas at theallaboutnothing.com. That's B-L-N-K-C-A-N-V-S at theallaboutnothing.com. You can find links in the Friends of the Pod section of our website. Visit theallaboutnothing.com. 
Hey everyone, I want to take a quick moment to mention one of our new sponsors, ThePaintedMoment.com. That's ThePaintedMoment.com. Check this out. Have you ever taken a photo with your phone or digital camera that would look amazing as a watercolor canvas painting? Well, now there's a website ready to take your photo and turn it into digital painted moments. This is how it works. Visit ThePaintedMoment.com, follow the instructions, and your digital photo will be enhanced and returned to you with links on where you can have an image printed to canvas or whatever else you'd like to do with it. We've already got a couple of these enhanced photos hanging around the house, and trust me, you'll love what comes out. ThePaintedMoment.com. Create a painted moment in time from your digital photos. ThePaintedMoment.com. Seriously, check them out today. ThePaintedMoment.com. What is a vaccine? What is a virus? What is a mask? What's a Sasquatch? These are all valid questions, and to answer them in one breath, prevention, potentially deadly, potentially life-saving, and don't be stupid. Look, the coronavirus from 2019 has caused a global pandemic that continues to ravage our planet, leaving victims and survivors. But you can do your part. In the United States, as well as most countries around the world, the COVID-19 vaccine is available at little to no cost. Regardless of your politics, this virus has the potential to cause irreparable harm to you and vulnerable family members and friends. We have an opportunity through the efforts of medical science to balance the scales against this disease and its variants. And look, I don't understand how the vaccine works, even though I've heard it described countless times by countless experts. And even though none of that makes any sense to me, I do recognize that the money and effort spent on the vaccine has not been wasted. And it's not a global positioning transmitter being embedded in your arm. You're holding that in your hand, listening to this. So get the vaccine. Protect yourself. Protect your loved ones. Hell, protect the guy standing behind you waiting on his Taco Supreme and nacho fries. Let that be the reason his organs shut down. For more information, visit covid19.nih.gov for actual science information. We have to thank our sponsor, GOT Sound Studio, and its owner and operator, Dominique Stewart, better known as Neek the Geek. GOT Sound Studios offers a variety of recording experiences for music, voice, and instrumental recordings and production, as well as podcasts. GOT Sound Studio is located in Columbia, South Carolina, and operated by the most talented producer and engineer in the business. GOT Sound Studio is a black-owned business. Bring your recording business needs here. You can find details on their Facebook page or by calling 803 803- 243-2302 or emailing GOT Sounds at the allaboutnothing.com. That's GOT Sounds at the allaboutnothing.com. You can find links in the friends of the pod section of our website. Visit the allaboutnothing.com. Yo, this is Rod Fly, 803 Stand Up. This is All About Nothing Podcast. Let's get it. All right, welcome back to the show. Rod Fly there. Rod Fly, man. He came through for that Christmas gift for me, man. Thank you again, Rob Fly. What did he get you? iPad. He got you an iPad. For my girl. Oh, that's sweet. That awesome. You know what I'm saying? Rod was really fun. Nice. We got to have Rod yeah. back. Yeah. No, Rod's always good. Yeah. I, I definitely want him for my top five podcast. That's what, that was the plan. He, he's oh, okay. supposed to be my co-host. So. Yeah, by the way, let's let's put that well, out yeah, there. Totally. Oh, yeah, man. Appreciate that, man. You know, that was the first time we did it. Um, a little rough draft. Man, it'll be soon uploaded. Just gave it to Barrett today. Yep. So, um, I throw the name. Um, DJ Lonzo's top five. Awesome. Yes. It's fantastic. The flow oh. was great. Uh, yeah, ne- yeah, definitely. Let me know when you have Rod flying. And I just, um, I just DJ Club Soda. It's a little underground club that they got coming out now. Was that the video? I ones? saw that. Yeah, that, that's they were dancing on the ladders the, the chick, and going the chick crazy. Was going wild. Oh yeah. Was she actually rapping? Oh yeah. It, it was random. Like like, shout out DJ JB man. He he killed that shit man. Me and him like um, we kind of like did did the show together, but. He had like artists that came up it, like in the middle of his show and like did one song and was gone. So it was like perfect the way he did it. Yeah. Shout out to you, JB. You that did your thing, cool. man. Yeah. Facts, man. Cool. I'll do a party with you any day. Yeah. Any day. That was really cool. I was. It was I was like, damn. Um. I shit it though. I was so. I, I was so. I was too high. <laughs> like as soon as I got. As soon as I got on the stage, man, it was like I got. It was like. He, his his homeboy was doing his show, and he was spinning. I think his name is DJ Low. I don't want to disrespect him because sure. he's good too as well. Respect to DJ Low. I think that's his name. But then it was like it came to me. He was like, "You ready?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." For some reason, I couldn't get my song to get out of chopped and screwed version. And then when I looked at it, it was like turned all the way up to the side. Okay. So I was like, oh. 
<laughs> so JB just came over there. He's like, man, I got, man, I, I, I'll do it real quick. I was like, all right, man, you go ahead and do it, man. Uh, uh, but so it was, it, it it wasn't supposed to happen like that. People was like, man, what the fuck are you doing, Trey? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hilarious. just too high. <laughs> I was just <laughs> too high. Down, man. God. I was just too high. Club Soda, man, probably the biggest spot in Columbia, man. That's probably going to be the best thing for. But let's was, get to it. Yeah, that was really that was really cool. Glad you shared that. Thank you. So it is Super Bowl Sunday, and if you're listening Sunday. to this, chances are you already know the outcome of the game. But we're hoping if we publish this quick enough, then uh, you'll be able to. Uh, and our picks will be right. Yeah, hopefully we'll ever pick that. Listen, first we want to do is we want to recap uh, what actually went on. Actually, before we even recap. Now, is this song copyrighted too? Yeah, whatever. NFL, you definitely don't want to play with them on Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they too got them busy. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, Are they? Uh, yeah, probably not. Probably not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out There's a guy it. right I'm now just taking his headphones yeah. off. He's like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Be all about uh, nothing. <laughs> aren't them. So it is Super Bowl. L V I. Too much. Do you know? Do you know what's which Super Bowl this is? 50, 56. 56, That's right. If you're well versed in your Roman numerals. You know that it is Super Bowl fifty six. Glad you ain't Star asked me Wars first. And Final Fantasy. Is that how you got through? <laughs> mm. I understand. Yeah, the eyes are in front, and you take. One how many away. games does Final Fantasy have now? Well, they've 15. repeated seven, like what, ten or twelve times? Uh, they're isn't making super, sixteen. Seven. Seven. No, I want to say I, one time for some. Okay, just one time. See, because for some reason I felt like Super uh, the the Final Fantasy VII came out over and over. No, and no, over. Yeah, yeah, the original seven. Then they they it took forever for them to release the remake, and then the remake is it's the game essentially the same game mm-hmm. except for they made it so much longer that it's now going to be in parts. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, okay. okay. Which well, I'm I'm looking I, I like and I hate I like when you give me the full thing, but it's a new game. Whatever. We'll continue to the real game. Yeah, so yeah to yeah. the real game. Let's get it. So uh, the Rams are returning to the Super Bowl after their 2019 championship loss to the uh, Patriots. Tom Brady and the that, Patriots. That it was that, that recently. Yeah, really? it was Tom Brady. Yeah. Again, uh, the Rams. Who that was, was quarterback in Philip Rivers. Yeah, Philip Rivers would have been the quarterback that year. Um, Bengals are making their third trip to the Super Bowl, 1982, 89, and then this year. So mm. that's uh, that's not bad. <laughs> the 80s were great. Joe Burrow versus Matt Stafford. And uh, Zach and I have already talked about this. I am not a Matt Stafford fan. I think everybody I like on him. earth, God's green earth, is a Joe Burrow fan. I'm not. I fucking hate him. I'm. I'm I, what? I, How do you hate that I, guy with that much swagger? I don't hate him. Hate him. Let me get, I don't like him. What, what don't did you like about him? I, I, I should, if anybody, I should not like him because he took my championship. <laughs> well, but it's it's because it's just because everyone's all up on him. I don't. It's know. just recently though. Yeah, no, he, it's been that way. No, no, yeah, no, no. Nobody was on him until he until he until he won the game before the la- the game before this one that he was in. Yeah, Dude, I'll, been, I'll give it to you. It became much more popular after after yeah. the, been after on the him championship since game, the national championship game, but. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. He's 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 been a household name. Yeah. I, I think that I think that the the what this is his second season in the NFL. Mm-hmm. I think I think the first season it was a it was it wasn't much. I like there wasn't a whole yeah. lot to be excited about. No. Yeah. And then even this season, I was the Bengals. And then yeah. he got his homeboy on his team. Yeah, Jamar Chase. Yes. Yeah. I like him. So. No, I, you gotta like the person that threw him the ball, though. No, no. <laughs> either way, either I don't way. like the guy that threw the ball, but the ball in the air—that's me. <laughs> so I didn't, I, ne- I didn't never, I never liked Cam Newton either. Okay, because he took the SEC championship away from my Gamecocks. Okay, so okay, okay. There's okay. reasons I don't like him, but like, if you're my boy, you're my boy. I back you up. But I figure you, I, I figure that you being an SEC fan, you would like an SEC person winning the championship over an ACC person. So is uh, so Matt Stafford went to Georgia. Yeah, mm. this is the first time in Super Bowl history that the number one draft picks that are quarterbacks are facing off against each other. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That uh, that's pretty crazy. And they're going to talk about that a lot tonight. <laughs> oh yeah. I am almost entirely. They're probably talking about it right now as Look, we speak. Are we going to get any Peyton Manning Honestly, and Eli Manning commentary? Oh, oh I probably should watch to. that that's, compared to just the regular Super Bowl. That's, that's probably going to be way see. better. Yeah. How um. Look, how how big is the Super Bowl halftime show going to be? Oh man, it's huge. What well, Eminem, Eminem, Dre, yeah, Dre, uh, Snoop Dogg, uh, Mary J. Blige, yeah, and uh, and and uh, Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Lamar. Holy cow! Yes, star studded. How do you get 
all five of them. In the commercial, to like oh, that it gave was, me oh, yeah. chills. Eminem yeah. gave me Eminem, chills. So it was Eminem Beating versus against Slim. himself. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I got hard. goosebumps right oh, now. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Wait, yeah. but. <laughs> Sorry, it, it was Look, it was like really cool idea. Yeah, I know, I know. I it's I'll, just I'll so funny honest. that white boys are getting chills from another white boys. <laughs> <laughs> ten years ago, ten years ago, I, I didn't know, think, I I didn't think Eminem was going to ever do anything like this. No, again. no, no. no. I, I, ten I years he, ago, I thought he was done. As soon as he did that song with uh, Elton John, I knew he was out of here. He should have been <laughs> to the Super Bowl after that. <laughs> yeah. He should have. He should have rode off into the. All right, so yeah. the, you saw the commercial where they were introducing people. The other part that yeah. got me. Is Kendrick Lamar writing stuff oh, down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you look at what he was writing, I think he was doing he was being Stan from Eminem songs. I think he was too. Oh. Where I think he was too. Writing that shit. Because if you read it real quick, he's like, "I'm your biggest fan." Mm. Like, right, I think he was too. I was like, "Oh, oh that's oh. hard." That was a great commercial. Yeah. They definitely. said Mary J. Blige is going to do more than one song, so we'll see. I, oh. thought, this, I thought they could done. They could have done. That Snoop. gives me chills too. <laughs> that legitimately gives me chills too. I, w- I was hoping Snoop and Dre would have got together like in. The oh, they got to do. Would've... They got to do. They got to do something from the Chronic. As, <laughs> you're in L.A. Yeah, you're in L.A. Forgot about Dre. Yes, they got to no, do that. No, no, <laughs> oh. that's Eminem. Yeah, that's both. Yeah, no, Eminem and that's and what Snoop. I'm saying. Eminem and it's not Snoop. No, no, I know that, but I said yeah, they, no, they got to do something. Dre. But I'm talking about Dre and Eminem have to at least because I'm thinking they're gonna do a mashup song. They got to. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they everybody have to. shit. So like if you talk about well, people thought they forgot about Dre and yeah. he just comes in. You have that part, and then mm. you have like Kendrick Lamar's like. Uh, Oh, well, um, DNA. Yeah, yeah DNA. Yeah, yeah. But also, this is the only thing that I'm not, because everybody remembers when Travis Scott did the, the halftime show, right? Sure. They only gave him like a snippet. That's true. So That's true. I think it's going to be the same thing oh, that they're doing. Yeah. I, I think it's. Not. I think everybody's going to get a snippet. It's not going to be as long as everybody thinks. Like, it's no way that halftime show can take up 30 minutes. Yes. Yes, it can. Yes. No, it's. Sh- I think it it's not going to. No, it's I not bet. going to. But but well, because you have you have you have the you have five minutes of commercials leading into it, and mm-hmm. then and by the way, have you seen the uh, the new commercial? Uh, I like Doritos. Uh, Doritos went crazy. I'm already. not watching them. You're not going to watch any. You're going to wait till tonight. Yeah, because okay. So I did see one, and I was like, oh, don't do this this year. Arnold don't. Schwarzenegger's got one mm. for the new BMW uh, electric. Damn. Jim Carrey has the cable guy. Jim, yeah, uh, oh damn, that's crazy. Mike, Mike yeah. Myers, Mike Myers has Dr. an Austin Powers. That's the one I did watch, and I was like, it was good. I can't ruin the rest of the, the rest of them. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. No, that one was they're spending nice. good money on these commercials, guys. Oh, this is a. This He's is like, a, I'm gonna call him Little Me. I remember. <laughs> He's when, Kyle. His name is Kyle. When I worked in television and radio back in the late '90s, I remember that even then, it was two million dollars for thirty second ad. Yeah, I, I remember that, that too. Was then. I, I know. I, I can just imagine what they're paying now. But did you see the? Does anybody see the the, the pricing of the seats at the Super Bowl this year? Oh, I like know, nosebleeds I know. are two grand. Like and if no, not two grand. It was like twenty. Yeah. It was no, like I'm talking about like if you have if you have like seats that are like on the lower level. Yeah. Twenty grand. Like oh yeah, it's crazy. Oh my god, it's crazy this year. I, real quick, I Chad Ocho Cinco said he was like it's. No way possible that fans. regular fans can come to these games anymore. Oh, it's no way no possible. Way. Watch Hollywood turn out too. Oh, Hollywood, bro! It's gonna be nothing but Hollywood at the game. Everybody, everybody. If Leonardo DiCaprio showed up at the playoff game, Kanye West bought a whole section. So with the Donda money. Here's my question: Leonardo DiCaprio shows up at a football game. How is it possible that he has someone old enough that knows what football is? <laughs> like you got to figure his girlfriend's got to be in. Who, Leonardo? Just in the late teens. Why are you hating this man? Yeah. <laughs> you can't hate I, on Leonardo, man. He, I had, have, he had Rihanna for I, a minute. I have a Leonardo he DiCaprio did. story. And now ASAP Rocky does. I don't hate on Leonardo DiCaprio, but I have a Leonardo DiCaprio story from when I was a teenager that, that I'll tell one day. It's not going to be today. But, okay, okay. Hey, so the history of the Rams franchise began in 1936 in Cleveland, uh, where they moved to Los Angeles in 1946. They were there until 1995. They moved to St. Louis. And then back to Los Angeles in 2015. They made their first Super Bowl in 1979, my year. That was the year I was born. That was the year you were born. Yeah. Jesus. And despite <laughs> leading at halftime, thank you, sir. <laughs> that reminded me of when Kevin Hart was like, God damn. <laughs> I didn't mean to disrespect him with it, but damn. Yeah. So despite despite leading the 1979 Super Bowl uh, 13 to 10 over the uh, uh, over the Steelers, <laughs> they did wind up losing 31 to 19. Uh, mm-hmm. They did not score again. Um, so that was the Steelers' first win. No, no, that wasn't the Steelers' first win. That oh, was okay. just that was the that was that was the Rams' okay first Attempt. opportunity. Okay, uh, and it and fun fact: this is the first year that their logo on their helmet looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, man. You 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 like the circle. Uh, you like the circle. The Kurt Warner days. And the, the circle round. Oh, Kurt Warner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Those uniforms are pretty tight, though. The helmets sucked. I, I know. So I, I know. couldn't take them. The uh, 1999 Rams beat Tennessee, so they've got one Super Bowl victory there. I actually, the that was the Super Bowl that was at uh, the Georgia Dome, the the last Super Bowl in the Georgia Dome. Mm. Um, they uh, they did beat Tennessee 23-16. I attended a lot of the Super Bowl festivities for that. I didn't go to the game. I, I got to attend a lot of the festivities. Oh, because your it radio. Was, it was two, yeah, it was two weeks of promotions for the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, well, all, all three of us have teams that have never won the Super Bowl. That's true. Yep, that's correct. And have blown it in astounding fashion one way or another. We even had Brett Farr and lost it. Yep. <laughs> I would I would <laughs> I would like to I would like to commend uh, commend the Atlanta Falcons for having one of the worst blowouts. Uh, blowout well, losses. y'all were actually yeah. blowing. Y'all were the first team to actually blow somebody out hey, and then got blown you out. Can't <laughs> you can't beat the officials and Tom Brady at the same time? Uh, here that's we go. Awesome. Here my, we go. My Panthers just, won every single say. game in 2015 except for the one against the Falcons. <laughs> Tom Brady. To Super Bowl. Tom Brady has been y'all worst nightmare. I guaranteed. Yeah. That's why I well, hope he dude, stays this retired. Was, this was this was when. Peyton Manning came to the Broncos mm, and yeah. beat us. But, That's yeah, right. no, Tom Brady beat us the first time yep. we went to the Super Bowl. Yep, yep. So the Bengals' that first That was whenever Jenna Jackson's nipple slip. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Bengals' first appearance Good in the times. Super Bowl was in 1982. I still think that was planned. Oh, was have you not seen a documentary? Oh, was it? Is oh, that yeah, watch the saying? documentary. It's on Netflix. Okay, I'll check that out. No, Netflix is on A&E. I'll check A&E. that out, too. A&E. Oh, well, see, I haven't seen Netflix oh, yeah, has it's the, like two hours. Netflix potentially has, All like, about the, a nipple. The crime well, no, not all about a nipple, but it was talking about how Michael used to call her fat and stuff oh, whenever they were doing Scream. Really? Like, as they were, like, performing really? Scream, the, the the song. Yeah, I know. I'm just like... Like, during the video, Michael used to be like a jerk to her, like, you're getting fat type. Wow. Listen. Yeah. That Damn is it. crazy. Oh, yeah. Michael used to be a jerk, man. You but, fat ass. Hey, only jerks be, be champions. Uh, quit fucking children, Michael. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> You're not doing this to Michael this time, man. We're not doing that. <laughs> so, uh, 1989, a rematch of Super Bowl 16 uh, game. They uh, they lost the 49ers. Uh, let me let me go back. I, I skipped a part. So, the Bengals' first appearance in the Super Bowl was 1982, where they lost the 49ers, 26-21. In 1989, a rematch of the Super Bowl 16 game. They lost the 49ers again, 20-16. to So, the Bengals carry with them an 0-2 record uh, in Super Bowls going into tonight's game. And the Rams carry a one and three record. So either way, this shakes out. No team comes out of tonight's game with more wins in the Super Bowl than losses. Mm. So yeah, but having a win feels so good. So good and uh, a ring. Oh for, yeah, and then they get to go to Disney World, do it, march in the parade. Oh, yeah. That's what they get. You going think, to Disney and you a think, ring. You think the Santas is going to be down there waiting for oh. them at the gate, like? Hey guys, go to, they're in LA. They go to, they're gonna go to. The, the, it depends. If, they're not going to Disney if the Land. Winning, if the nobody goes to Disney Land. They go to Disney World. No, they go to Disney, Disney World. They go to Disney World. Yeah, they go to Disney World. Oh, nobody go to goes. Nobody go says I'm going to Disneyland. They say I'm going to Disney World. Yeah, it's always Disney World. <laughs> Disneyland's like the OG spot though. It is the original, but, but it's Disney not. Disney World ha- has six parks to it. Yeah. Okay. Right. I you hold could, up five. I mean, you can go to Legoland if you want to go there. I mean, yeah, but you go to Legoland. Oh, you would never get me out of Star Wars. I don't. I don't need to see the rest. Oh. You got to go to Disney World. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Or Disneyland. You can go to both. I want a Marvel experience. Is that in Disney? That's in World? Disneyland. The Marvel, the Marvel camp, or the Marvel uh, school, or whatever. Yeah. That's in Disneyland. Mm. Okay. The Avengers. I think it's the Avengers Park or something like that. They're building okay. Super Mario World down in Florida. I've, That's true. I've seen that too. That's, That's true. That's gonna be crazy. Mario Kart for real Ooh. life. I mean, water balloons or something. Mm-hmm. You know what? I we do app- need <laughs> those apples. <laughs> <laughs> Banana so, peels. As bonus feature for our show, I think we need to get ourselves up to Frankie's and, and do a, do a couple laps. Man, fuck Frankie's, man. We oh. know we need to take a group. We need to take a family trip and go to Gatlinburg and ride them real yeah, go we, carts. We got yeah, we that'd go be to, fun. We can go to Charlotte and all drive stock cars. Ooh. Yeah, that would be cool too. Man. I've done, I've, it. I've done that too. Yeah. I, I did it in Atlanta that. when they used to have in Atlanta. They put you in a car by yourself. Oh. Yeah. Well, I so the fastest I I've ever got to drive in one of the stock cars at Road uh, Road Atlanta, not Road Atlanta. It was at, uh, the Atlanta Speedway. So our car only went to 120. That was as fast on the straightaway as it would go because it was governed. Mm. Mine was governed too, but I got to go. I, I, I'm about I, to say, don't say you went 200 miles an hour. I went 155.3. That's fantastic. Yeah. If you That's re- a thrill. If you, you drove, though. Yeah, by myself. So I had a guy in the car with me when I did it. This was back in 97 when when they first started the Richard Petty School. This was three years ago. Oh, okay. yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 they put you in a car by yourself, and they're like, if, That's you're, awesome. if you're not comfortable with it, start out in fourth and just. Well, it's, it seems cool. like since you was in a car with somebody and. 
First now of all, you if, you're by yourself. Go, if you're gonna go with aerodynamics on this, yeah. I was weighing that car down more than the person. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, man. I was thinking about. I was like, oh, okay. Now I understand why I only went one ten. They clown no, me too. They gave me the biggest fucking suit they had, and I look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get pictures of that. Gabriel has them. I'm oh, Gab, yeah, send them up. Send them up. There's a reason they're not like. If I put it on Facebook, I like cropped out the body part. <laughs> Because it, like, oh, it's a helmet, dude. They literally, they literally just put me in this like big ass suit. I'm like, dude, you got smaller. That dude's my size, and he's got that. Like, I must have been last. They're like, shit, give, give him the four XL. <laughs> yeah, like it was too long. Everything. That's great. I'm sorry. The fear that hit you good. a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like I've gone, I've gone faster. What's the um, fastest you went on the interstate? Oh, everybody. Uh, uh, at least 200. You've been 200 on it. Oh, that's right. You had to. Fastest, say. fastest I've ever gone was 188, and that was in a 1986 RX-7. Well, the fastest <laughs> I've ever been was 120 because I've never had a car that was fast and well, good enough to withstand the rev limiter. Yeah, or no. The car was all my cars have been shitty. Structurally, so, the vehicle. Is, anytime I go over 100, you're shit doing. The, my element will do 100. It just does this yeah, all the way. Oh, on my 700 horsepower Cobra. <laughs> I had it buried at 160 for over a minute, and it kept pulling. And it was it was it was like it was on rails. Wow, yeah. this is a green tunnel. It just stayed straight. Yeah. Nothing. It wasn't. It wasn't. Move. Yeah, that's that is not a Honda. Nope. No, no, yeah. not a Honda. This a Honda car, will find every edge of that asphalt. Fast. This card had like almost thirty thousand dollars worth of suspension work already done to it and stuff. Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. So to recap, uh, what we did at the beginning of the season was we uh, the the four of us. Nick is not here with us. No. Uh, but we'll make sure to talk about his picks. Oh, definitely, because he has a lot of X's on. Yeah, his. there were a lot of X's. Uh, what we did at the beginning of the season was we picked the potential leaders, winners of each division, as well as a wild card winner and then chose who we thought was going to make it to the nfl uh super bowl well you know why neek has a bunch of x's on his because we kept going like why are you picking the same one we're picking or and he ooh, just, uh, <laughs> or he'd be like he'd be like you know what no you guys pick that i'm gonna switch it up Fact. <laughs> and he picked the washington team to win the north he went <laughs> all right we're gonna start with the uh we'll start with the uh, a, uh nfc north all right, so in, in the NFC North, Neek did pick the Vikings, which was a stretch. Yes, which I did, too. Uh, you did as well. Because that's, that's my team. Yeah. Zach and I both picked Green Bay, which turned which out I to won. be correct. Uh, in the NFC South, uh, Neek picked the Saints. You two picked the Panthers, and I picked Tampa. Yep. I was the only one that was correct there. Correct. NFC East, uh, Neek picked the Eagles, and you picked the I Washington. Picked the, no, I picked Cowboys. Uh, I'm, oh, you're right. yeah, I'm, I'm over here laughing at, yeah. laughing at Neek in my ass. And you picked Washington, Washington. To do it too. Mm. Yeah, What made you think Washington? Uh, I, I like their defense. Okay. Yeah, their defense like, is really good. I like, I like Ron, um, Steamboat Ron Rivera. I truly thought that this was going to be the year that Dak uh, Prescott was going to be healthy the whole year. He has, he had the talent and, and, and the receivers, and I thought Dallas was going to do better. They did pull out the NFC East. I'm but. just convinced that Dak Prescott is definitely just there for a check. Yeah, yeah, I am too. A check and a good mattress because you know he's, <laughs> he, you know he's being sponsored by Sleep Number. You know what yeah. I mean? In the uh, go ahead. No, I'm just NFC West. Yeah, NFC West. Uh, uh, you picked uh, Seattle. Neek picked Seattle. I picked San Francisco. Well, Trent what? pulled it out with yeah. the uh, the forty uh, with the uh, I'm sorry with LA the LA Chargers. That's the Rams. Oh, Rams. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, I keep forgetting. But we all gotta admit. DK Metcalf and Russell Wilson I, just let us down. Oh, Everyone, yeah, definitely. They do that every year. I, I, this seemed well, like, Metcalf got injured. Did, was he injured this year? He I don't has, know. No, it was Wilson close to the end. Thing. Russell Wilson does this thing. He comes out strong at the beginning of the season, and then, like, around week eight, it, he just he just, he just drops well, off. Well, they say, they say that a, uh, Russell Westbrook, I mean, Russell Wilson is, is out of Seattle. They say he wants out. Yeah, yeah. I think that's Where do you what, think I, he'll I, go? That's why I think he was tanking a little. You think he'll go to... Um, Come to he could go to Tampa Bay. Come to Carolina. Oh, that's not a bad pick. He, he might go to Tampa could, Bay. But he could come to Carolina, Carolina would be a because good pick he's too. from North Carolina, mm. or at least that's where he went. That means we'll see Sierra all the he time. He played college <laughs> college ball. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you picked the Rams. Yep. That was a that was a victory for you on that one. Uh, and as far as the wild card goes, uh, Neek picked Washington. Yeah. Uh, Zach had the Rams. I which, had the Rams. Come technically, the Rams did make it into the into the postseason, but they uh, did, the, but they, not the wild card. Yeah, not the wild card. Tampa Bay did not uh, did not win the wild card. They nope. were the NFC East. Uh, but uh, my pick of the Panthers was not great. Um, Neek AFC North did pick the Steelers. 
He did. That was not a good pick. Nope, not they at were, all. They were a wild card pick there. Even the worst pick. Zach had Baltimore. Trent, you had the Browns. I had the Browns. Which I, we are stupid because Odell <laughs> <laughs> Odell probably heard both of us. But I'm out of here, man. <laughs> Baker Mayfield heard y'all too. We Facts. All, we all picked the Titans. Uh, and we won. I, yeah, we all picked the Titans and we won. We all picked Buffalo for the AFC East. Which is crazy and we won. Isn't that crazy? I wanted to see Buffalo. Uh, in the AFC West, Nick is the only one that picked the Chargers. Uh, we all picked Kansas City. And then Which we all won. On that one. And then Trent picked the Steelers for the wild card Facts. there. Facts. And, uh, and he pulled that one out. So uh, you had the Browns, Nick had the Browns, and I had Baltimore. I don't know what made me think that Baltimore was going to be of any good, any use this year. But I, I, I was way off. Uh, for the champs. When it comes to the champs, Neek picked <laughs> somehow picked the Vikings, and I, <laughs> I I only I can only suspect, and I'm sorry, Dominique, but uh, the the only thing I can suspect <laughs> is that because he picked the he picked Minnesota for his NFC North, which made sense if they would have won. Yeah, of course, if they would have. Um, <laughs> Zach had the Carolina Panthers. That was all heart, right? <laughs> that was all heart. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Trent and I picked Tampa because we I had a feeling. Yeah, I I I, I fully believed that we were going to see. Uh, Tom Brady in another another Super Bowl. Uh, we were all wrong. Every one of us. Yeah. It was all. Uh, it was all. Well, in Kansas City, I was the closest because yes, um, agreed. Uh, we, we, well, closest to losing. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but losing, at the end, losing. what what happened to Patrick Mahomes that he he threw almost two interceptions right off the bat? Well, I can tell you what happened. Eight. Defense, sir. Yeah, he's, that defense is stepped he's, up. He's, get, he's getting into that. He's getting into that mid twenties range on his mm-hmm. age. There, that's that's gonna, that's going to hurt. They easily could have won, but um, yeah. for the AFC champs, so none of us picked it. I, you had Baltimore. Yep. Uh, I had the Browns because mm-hmm. ultimately I really wanted to see the Browns in the in the. I think I think everybody Bowl. did, but but I still want to see the Browns in the Super Bowl. I think everybody potentially just <laughs> wanted just to see the Bowl, Odell in the Super Bowl. <laughs> we just wanted to see Odell in, and now technically Odell is in there. I think we were picking the Browns for Odell only. You think so? I think so. Well, I think that's I, what I'm going I, with. I like, I like, I like Mayfield. Yeah, yeah, I like Baker Mayfield. I, I want to see well, Baker Mayfield. Well, technically, he's, he's a bust to... without without that Odell. That is probably true. Odell Beckham Jr. did not do shit the last year, so I was kind of meh. I mean, he was saving up. I'm talking about last year. Oh, the last last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so to pick our Super Bowl champions, uh, <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nick did pick Minnesota. Which I understand. Zach went with the heart again, and he picked the Panthers. <laughs> Which I understand. I uh, I picked uh, the 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 Buccaneers as well as Trent. Yep. And I said the Bucks weren't doing it again. You, they were close. They almost had a comeback. I I look. That's how that's how he plays it. He it's almost always a comeback for him. So. Now so we, right now, what we're gonna do? Pick pick scores. Yeah. So I I need what I want is I don't know about what scores. I need. No no no. Let's you gotta go with scores. I think I think you gotta pick a score. So we got we got one pin. Okay. That's all I had. So Trent, I'm gonna let you talk about or, or tell us. What you think is potentially going to happen with this game tonight? I, see I think I think it's going to be went straight to the Rams. Yeah, it's going to be Rams game. So okay. I'm, I'm going to go. Ooh, twenty. Okay, that's not that's not a big score. You think it's going to be? Uh, you think it's going to be close? Oh, whoa! He flipped you picked the Bengals. You picked the Bengals. I did. Now is that heart or is this? Uh... I like Joe Burrow. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, 28, 28 Rams, seventeen. Okay. Mm. That's uh. I like that pick too. So Zach has picked the Rams to win twenty eight seventeen. Um, I guess I'm gonna do mine. Um, I've thought about this long and hard. Should I call Neat so we can get his? Yeah, why don't you do that? Let's, uh, you know what? Here, here. Uh, it, hook up to the uh, to the phone okay. system here, and I went ahead and done it. So here's also oh, I'm already in there. Uh, uh, dude, you gotta, yeah, I got you. I got you. It. You'll probably have to forget it and then re add it and tell me when you've forgotten it and re added it because I don't know. It's, Is it called something weird? It's Roadcaster Pro. So. Oh no. Yeah, you may just have to, you may have to delete it and then add it back or whatever. So I'm going to talk about my decision, and ultimately I'm going to come across uh, with this: I want the Bengals to win tonight. I get, Same. I get that it's not likely. I get that the Rams are probably the better team. I don't like Matt Stafford. Me I, neither. I he has not, like a certain like I do like jerk. Him. Jerkness to him. I don't know. I don't. There's this cocky attitude to. He reminds him. me of the people I went to high school with. I just, I just don't like him. I just, right? He's, he's, he's one of those Are you guys. Sure yeah, you may have to power your, uh, your Bluetooth off and back on. Yeah, I had the, I had the, I had the... So ultimately, I am, I'm gonna pick the Bengals because heart. I'm gonna pick the Bengals. I'm okay. gonna say the Bengals twenty three. Okay. Rams, ten. Ooh. I'm gonna say it's, uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be 
13 is going to be the split on that one. Okay. I'm going to say 13 on the split. I'm going to give it to the Bengals. Me, well, so, so, I'm going to say 23-10. 23-10. Bengals. What? You're going Rams, 28-17. I'm the only yeah. one picking the Rams? Yeah. Yeah, man. Again, I'm not saying that mine is mine is anything other than heart. I, I want the Bengals to win. I want Cleveland to win. Um, that's 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 pretty much the reason the reason why I'm picking the Bengals. Okay. And and I don't like Matt Stafford. <laughs> I just I Cooper don't know Cup, what it is. I think Cooper I Cup is one. I I don't disagree. I I think Cooper Cup does his. I think rank. Matthew Stafford I think that, for being in purgatory with the Lions for so long. <laughs> that was a long time. <laughs> that was a lot of Thanksgiving Day games too. Yeah. Being completely honest with you, that was rough. That was a lot of Thanksgiving Day games. Uh, he he that did have never to do that. win. Uh, if if you're listening right now, we're trying to get Neek on the phone so that we can. He might not answer because he don't think we're important enough. Yeah, well, or he's or he's watching us on the uh, the camera right now. Uh, but uh, ultimately, that's 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 my decision. Oh, I think we got him. Turn oh, him up. All right. We got- Please leave your message. Oh. Or- <laughs> or this the voicemail. I'm about to Facetime just so I can see him. Uh, you could, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe if you call him again, he'll probably think the studio's on fire or something. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I want him to think it's an emergency. Text. Just, just so everybody knows, uh, Dominique is uh, in uh, Tennessee this week, um, doing some recording. I believe this isn't a vacation, is it? This is a working uh, vacation, isn't it? You never know. Never know. Well, he's not answering, so I oh. guess he doesn't want to. Well, who knows? I we guess, can try one more time. Yeah, let's try uh, it one more time. Okay, let's try it one more time. Yeah. Um. While we're while we're trying to get Neek on the phone, uh, I will uh, I will just mention that uh, so Joe Burrows and uh, we got Matt Stafford in the Super Bowl. I don't know what's going in. My microphone seems like it's going in and out. I feel like I'm right in front of it, but yeah, yeah. So Super Bowl, right? What is your favorite thing to eat during the Super Bowl? Mm. Uh, hot dogs, hot dogs, or pizza? Big hot dog, pizza. Okay, uh, oh, look, hot dogs are my favorite food. I'm gonna say wings. Wings are good. Yeah, I think that's my preference. Neat. I think my preference is always. I think. No. Oh yeah, he's not. He's, he's not answering. He's not going to answer. That's he's not right. going to answer. We're going to assume that he's pulling for the uh, Vikings. Yep. <laughs> and we're going to we're going to put down a score. We're writing down a score. Right yeah. Now. Go ahead and scratch here. I don't he's going to turn I, it on. And he's like, "Where are the Vikings at?" I don't know what I did. With the, I don't know what I did with. It's the, all right. We'll do it afterwards. But uh, Neek is picking the Vikings by ten. Yes. He's uh, just gonna draw horns on the little logo. <laughs> that's, that's essentially that's essentially it. Oh, the, we're gonna we're gonna post the Vikings these. change okay. their homes. Uh, or, or <laughs> their, hor- their horns on the helmet. It's a little different. La, yeah. I don't know what that is. Must be a special thing. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that'll that'll be good. I, I, if I if I can draw the uh, if I can if I can draw the the Vikings helmet on there or something like that, <laughs> then that'll go over real well. So Vikings over the Nic- Rams. Nicholas has been to this the SoFi Stadium. He may have been he may have inadvertently been the reason that they made it this far. He saved a guy. He should get like uh, pro bono seats. I think the Rams only won 9 games during the regular season. 8 games. It wasn't a lot. It was yeah. the, it was the playoffs that crazy, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. That's what carried them on. So, jokers. So, what do you do? They're going to they're going to do it. You you keep saying that. And and they have a great defense. I don't disagree. Their defense is very the, great. They have the king of completions and arguably one of the best wide receivers in the NFL and Cooper Cup. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and Matt Stafford makes a lot of good passes. I wanted San Francisco to be in it because Debo is the man that uh, he needed that. Yeah. I, and him him being so bummed out and crying, hanging his yeah. head. Shows me that he really wants it. He, man, he that dude's it. hungry. I he can't wait to see him play next year. Well, I got a little bit of a. Um, oh, that's right. I I'm, forgot. A, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right, man. It's all right, man. Hey, look, I, I could have did it on the in, on the outro because it's not because you know it, it's a lot of drinking today. The trend. That is. It's going to be a lot of drinking today. So everybody, please drive drive responsible. Mix in a water. But you know, this is this is for the people that you know that was drinking before they was able to drink. So y'all remember the app, I beer, correct? No. Wait. It what? was like it, the the app that was called I beer. So basically, yes, it was an app that you where turn you your turn your phone up sideways and it looks like you was drinking a beer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everybody had that downloaded correctly. Yes, yes, yes. The creator of iBeer was earning twenty eight thousand dollars per day from that app. Wow! And all it did was make it look like you were drinking beer. That's hysterical. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. And it was free to download. Twenty eight yes. grand a day. A day. A day. A day. From people going like, "Is he so funny?" <laughs> hey, does anybody still have that app? No, no. I wonder if I wonder if it's still available. That and probably everybody had a gun app, right? Like mm-hmm. we had a gun on the there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that guy, had he to probably make, was up yeah. there too. 
All right, man. So another one. Hold on. I did find. I did find this. Uh, somebody put this on the board. I'm not. I'm not sure who did. It. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shots fired. I, I like that one. Found that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sheesh. Oh, he's got a double tap. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm glad. I'm look, and then and then there was this. Is that neat eating? I don't know. Someone put that on the board. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. No, I love it. We're using yeah. your sound. Yeah. Well, well, since 1950, approximately 90 commercial airplanes have disappeared without a trace. Seriously. 90. 90. That is insane. It's too many airplanes. That's 90 too many airplanes. Transparency. Transparency, baby. That is insane. The Malaysian plane. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now, at one point, I thought that they had said that they had found some pieces of the Malaysian plane, but apparently that's not technically true. They they are not certain mm-hmm. that those pieces came from the Malaysian right. plane. Which is crazy. They're going to come back like that show. That show the Outer Banks. The- <laughs> Remember? Remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I've only watched episode one of that. Uh, second season. Yeah, me and Trent have seen the whole damn thing. Uh, no, I was talking about the one where like the their plane comes back. Manifest. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, and they yeah. were like, wow, that was a bumpy ride. And they get off and like, you've been gone for five years. Yeah, fat, 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 fat. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay, so this is a little. The Outer Banks. <laughs> So this is a crazy one, right? All right. This, uh, I guess this shows, this one's going to say how money, um, leaving in, leaving money in the bank, this is the only way you'll get your money out of it to okay. double, correctly? Okay. Uh, Benjamin Franklin left the cities of Philadelphia and Boston $2,000 in his will, but the full balance couldn't be drawn for 200 years. In 1990, the cities received $6.5 million. Wow. 200 years, he put $2,000 for each city. Yes. And after 200 years, yes. it was $6 million. 6.5. A piece. A piece. That is incredible. Damn, I don't have 200 years to wait. <laughs> Fill me a damn time. That's why you don't put your money in banks, people. <laughs> oh, you, you it's going to take 2,000 years. Oh, when, when everything went like digital, Yeah. who has been Ben Franklin's cash, like the mm. actual stack? Nicholas Cage. <laughs> yeah, I got it. It's here. It's in my pocket. Next, we're finding Abraham Lincoln's dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's buried oh, under the no. Statue of Liberty. <laughs> and this is a crazy one. This is the last one. The last one. A man who refused to identify himself um, has been imprisoned in Canada since 2013. He is called the unknown person. Okay. And his fingerprints uh, have matched four separate identities, two of whom, two of whom are the two dip, are, are from two different countries, and one is unknown citizenship. What? So they don't know who the guy is, but he's the unknown prisoner. He sounds like a master of his craft. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It is so crazy. D- does he have a name at all? I mean, do they say? Nope, they don't know his name. But his his fingerprints match four different individuals. Correct. Across Three, two, two different countries. Two different countries, uh, and one is unknown. So that I mean, then it's got. It's not like uh, you search up the other two people and someone else shows up. Mm -hmm. Is that what's happening? I'm not sure. It has to be the same dude. It it probably is, but I'm I'm not sure. I wouldn't know. Are you Francois or are you Carl? (laughs) Carl. (laughs) Don't be frank with me. (laughs) Because we're gonna call you one of these. Damn it. (laughs) Inmate four five two six seven eight nine, and then you're asking for letters from. <laughs> he's not on the uh, the letters. He's not on the uh, the uh, what is it? Why, write a prisoner. He's like they don't even know the, who the fuck I am. Those were good. Yeah, man. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Appreciate just, that. Those were perfect. So uh, on our 100th episode, my sister has submitted a transparency that she wants you to look into. I will read it. I got you. And if he can't figure it out, <laughs> I'll come and help. It's got to be on the back of a constitutional. Maybe map. if we get those by. I don't know why I'm doing an impression. Zach's here. <laughs> he can do it. Well, don't worry, Barrett. I Are got we talking it. about National Treasure, which is one of the greatest movies ever? National Treasure 2. two? You want two? two? I like one better than two. I want a third. Mm. I want Disney to go ahead and drop a third. I think they're doing What a would third. the third one be about? 
I, it's gonna be about the Charlotte again, but how it got there, we go back and Sean Bean dies in that movie. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Another one. Another. Poor dude. Damn it, Sean B. <laughs> poor dude. Oh my Is god. Is either Sean B or John B. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. But can they run it back <laughs> to Powder <Mountain> Banks? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Full circle. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for being here. Hell yeah, this is fun, man. As always. And and by the way, I know that we said this was a short episode. Hey, man. It's just we're giving y'all to, yeah, exactly. something to do Extra today. <laughs> we're, we're saving our hundred. That's right. Episode. As mm. always, special thanks, Nick the Geek, engineer and producer, as well as owner and operator of GOT Sound Studio in Columbia, South Carolina. To book any time, you can call 803-243-2302. Doesn't email. mean he's going to answer. Uh, right. <laughs> you know, no. uh, Leave a message. Email GOT Sounds hey, at the allaboutnothing.com. Two hour minimum on booking. You can find details at GOTSoundStudio.com or on Facebook to search for GOT Sound Studio. As well, special thanks, Muff the Producer, responsible for the beats. Follow him on Instagram at Muff the Producer, as well as Trent Clark, aka DJ Lonzo, yes, currently sir. entertaining the main course at the Columbia, South Carolina uh, festivities. Main course. This is, this is every Saturday. Every Saturday. We're now. back. We're at every Saturday now. They want me. You know what I'm saying? They're thinking about using me on different campuses, so that means I'll be at the Smokies. It's right across the street. I'll be at the Grand soon. Man. Hopefully, I'll be at the Woody soon. So we're- My question is, when you getting on stage? That's fantastic. Uh, to be honest with you, they are hosting a straight man drag show soon, which will, the benefits- I, I didn't will, think you'd have to oh, I was talking about you. Be- I was talking about for you to be up there. We go up there. You know, you're just it. flipping this on me. I'm the DJ. Wait, I can't. On. I can't do both. Here's my question. Here's, here's Play, my question. Run up there. I don't have any issue with doing. It. I understand. I. I. But I don't. I don't have any outfits that would fit. Oh, they'll find something for you. So that's that's the thing. Is, who, is a some, lot of drag shows. Someone's gonna dress me up. Well, oh, oh no. Oh no. Maybe you could get, borrow something from your and wife. I'm not or saying something. I would not do it. I would. Do I it think it'd be a blast. View. It depends. I don't. I, mean, I think it's going to a good cause. I think it's going to like a suicidal thing, or you know what I mean, for people that can't live their lives how they want to sure. live. So, sure, sure, sure. It, it, it's a, it's a good cause, man. It's, I don't know when it's happening. Something to ponder. Patreon goal. For yeah. Sure. Oh, it's crazy. So, uh, make sure you head out to the uh, main course, and then yep. of course other details will come as to as far as where else Trent is going to be. So that's really cool. If uh, you want to hire Trent for your entertainment needs. You can call him 803-672-0533 or you can email him uh, Trent at theallaboutnothing.com. Thanks. As always, you can follow us on Facebook. Just search for All About Nothing US or on Twitter, Instagram, AAN underscore pod. You can find links to all of our social media and other podcast platforms by visiting theallaboutnothing.com. If you'd like to be heard on the show, you may call 803-672-0533. The second time I've said that. Uh, if you enjoy the show, consider okay. becoming a patron by visiting our website and clicking on the link at the top of the browser and we'll take care of uh, it'll take you over to our Patreon page. You can find details there, how to become a supporter. You can check out the benefits uh, or just consider a donation to the show. It uh, keeps us doing this. And maybe I'll do an impression uh, for you or of you. There you go. I still, I, I still, I, I, the uh, next Patreon goal is is we get you to do an impression of Seth Rogen on somebody's phone for their message. <laughs> that would be mm. good. I think, I think that you should be, do mine first. Um, maybe you should call Oh, yeah. Me. You should do mine. Like, everybody called me, but it's Seth Rogen. I'm Trent. I'm DJ Laws new manager. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not at the main course, then fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, thank you very much, Zach King. Thank you very much, Trent Clark. As always, stay safe. Continue to wear your masks. Get yourselves vaccinated and... Have a Super Bowl. Have a week. <laughs> This The All About Nothing podcast is recorded live from the Maddie Johnson podcast studio at GOT Sound Studio in Columbia, South Carolina. The All About Nothing podcast is produced and engineered by Nick the Geek, owner and operator of GOT Sound Studio. To support the show, please visit theallaboutnothing.com for links to social media, merchandise, and more. Become a patron of the show by following the Patreon link at the top of our page. The All About Nothing podcast is an entertainment product of Barrett Gruber. Special thanks to Zach King, Trent Clark, Muff the Producer, Neek the Geek, and you, our listeners. Please subscribe, rate, review, and share. If you're on YouTube, please hit the like button and the notification bell. Thank you for listening. The All About Nothing podcast is a member of the GOT Podcast Network.